Okay, we're gonna chat about cups, glassware, ceramics, all of that. I wanna tell you guys about what I'm currently using, what I've been using, and also a lot of my behavior. Like, when do I pick glass versus ceramics, and what are the differences that I've observed, and also really, how do those make me feel? Because I think what is really interesting and what is very, very fun about glassware and, and these cups and all of that is that, yes, they can present aromas to you very differently and you can perceive flavors in a different way because of the shape of how the liquid touches your mouth. But also, how do these make you feel? I think cups are so fun. This is like the one part of this hobby that is so enjoyable to me is that you put in all this effort into, you know, getting the machines into the grinders and all of that stuff. And you need to then take this thing that you are brewing and serve it to someone. And how do they enjoy it and how do you enjoy it is greatly influenced based on the vessel that it is served in. And this is something that I think is, is so interesting about how we perceive aromas, how we perceive flavors, and also how does something, like literally physically holding something and touching something, how do the textures and all of that make you feel? Even down to the, the colors of these things. This like can greatly influence how you perceive something. So, you know, it's kind of like the classic example of if you were served a cup of coffee in, in a beautiful handmade ceramic versus uh, getting served a coffee in like a to-go cup, right? Like you would perceive those two things quite differently. One, you would perceive those flavors differently because of how the aromatics come to your mouth because of, it turns out like the shape of all these matter and all of that. And then second of all, your mind would kind of play some tricks on you. I, I think it's like really, really interesting. And I, I really like tapping into all of that for my personal enjoyment of coffee. So I wanna talk about, you know, when do I use glassware versus ceramics. I've actually been finding out that, and I look at kind of like my past six months of, of brewing coffee and pulling espresso and all of that, and I've been kind of really finding out that I have been enjoying uh, glassware when I am trying to evaluate a coffee. So it, it, may, it might really have been influenced by these, these uh, neat whiskey glasses. These are like actually, in my opinion, the best cups right now for espresso. Like you pull espresso into this and the aromas the way that these present aromas to you, it's like they've, it's like you, you get that extra layer of clarity. It is, it's really awesome. Plus also, uh, these ones specific are the crystal ones, so they're quite durable. And also, you know, you can pull espresso into this and you're not gonna burn your hands out of it. But I've been finding out that glassware, even things like the uh, glass version of this Aurea Sense glass, uh, they're fantastic for brewing into and also evaluating uh, coffee. It's like, oh, it has beautiful aromas or acidity or whatever. But I've been, I just, I love this cup. Like this is, the, and these are cheap too in the context of glassware. Like you can get four of these for I think like 50 bucks or something uh, versus, you know, look at like an Aurea Sense glass, it's like, uh, a lot more, you know, it's a lot more expensive than that. But that's when I've been finding out is glassware for enjoying the like raw qualities of the brew of the coffee. And that to me is a ton of fun. And kind of in that like contrasting experience, because I just love contrasting experiences as we've uh, established many, many times before, is ceramics. Ceramics, in my opinion, are super fun to serve coffee in and enjoy coffee out of. It's more of like, Wow, it feels really, really good to get served coffee in a beautiful piece of ceramic, like a handmade ceramic cup. Like you serve coffee to me, I'm just not gonna care that it maybe is a bad brew or whatever, right? Like, I'm just like, oh, this feels really good to hold. It feels really good to sip out of. And there is just an associated like feeling good factor that I get when I use handmade ceramics. And it's like kind of weird because I'm like, oh my God, my mind is playing tricks on me because I could take the same exact brew, stick it in here and stick it in here. And I probably would enjoy the brew out of this more, even though it's literally the same uh, brew. Of course, like the shape of these cups are different and they present aromatics differently. You know, it's like my mind's playing tricks on me. And that I think is super interesting when it comes to things like ceramics, right? This is just how it makes me feel. And I've just been finding out, it's like, you know, when I wanna turn my brain off and I just wanna turn on like maximum enjoyment, I just wanna enjoy the coffee, maybe it's old coffee, maybe I don't feel like trying so hard when brewing, I brew into something like ceramics or I brew into a craft and, you know, pour into, into these beautiful uh, ceramic pieces. Because to me, that is, for some reason, associated in my head, this makes me feel good. Versus like, 
if I had a subpar coffee and I'm pulling it into here, I'm like, man, I'm just going to put on my evaluation hat and be like, dang, that is not as good. So for me, it, I would say like, these are like literally more transparent in the sense like, okay, this is giving me a really good idea of the coffee. And because I am so passionate about coffee, I derive enjoyment out of those aspects that you find in like a stellar coffee. And you know, you, it's cool to actually be able to see the liquid. Whereas this, these beautiful ceramics are just fun. You know, controversial opinion, maybe, I have no idea, but I actually really dislike brewing into ceramics, um, mainly because these get way too hot. Uh, you know, you, you you pull a shot into here, it is not fun. The, it retains heat for too long. Like, you know, I don't even care about like how long it retains heat, but it's the fact that I can't even hold the glass. Or it's like, you know, I have to start holding things like up here. I can't hold it. Down. If I hold it down here, I'm burning my hand. Same thing with here where it's like the heat just goes all over here, which I think is fine for a certain, you know, if you're into that stuff, but for the coffees that I enjoy, they need to cool down, right? I want that acidity to come out. I want that sweetness to come out. And it, it just, it's longer for me. You know, I brew it and then I walk away and come back and then I enjoy it. It's just totally fine. You know, kind of already been discussing this, but yeah, I use two cups. I use the neat whiskey glasses. Like turns out the world of spirits and all of that has uh, been very, very far ahead of us in the world of coffee. Um, but these are fantastic. I really need to shout out my friend Jay for uh, suggesting these to me, but you know, I got four of them. I think they were like 50 something bucks. I use these every day. I use these for every single espresso that I pull. I think they present aromatic in a way that I just have never experienced uh, before. And so this is like definitely that extra layer of like clarity at times into flavor notes, but also it feels just really good to sip out of. Um, there's kind of like, there's kind of like a wider uh, lip here as well. So when you are sipping espresso, you get more aeration and that seems to help out. Uh, kind of, it kind of really reminds me of like a cupping spoon at times as well. Um, so it's, it's kind of like you just have a built-in cupping spoon into this, which is fun. Uh, if you want something a little bit bigger than this, I would also suggest the glass version of the Aurea Sense uh, glass, which is the glass version of this. I broke mine, unfortunately. This is my favorite cup. This is the MK Studios Aurea glass. Uh, this is definitely expensive. I think this was like 70 bucks or something. Uh, very expensive uh, for what it is, but it's handmade and it makes me feel good. So, you know, to me, spending the money to get a cup that makes you feel good is, I think, pretty awesome. Yeah. This is the, the cup that I use if I want to enjoy coffee. You know, sometimes you just want to turn your brain off. You want to enjoy stuff. Feels really nice to get served coffee uh, in something like this. And then if you also wanted something a little bit bigger, uh, you can also consider the origami uh, sensory glasses. I like I like pink, as you see, you know, there's a Sakura pink. Uh, looks really nice. And um, this also does the same exact thing as this. I feel much more comfortable brewing uh, larger doses in here. Like here, I'm maybe brewing 15 grams, 15 to like 240, 270. This guy, I can do my 20 gram V60s and it's completely fine. Uh, but this also makes me feel good. But it also has the same problem where these ceramics get really, really hot. So, you know, it depends on if you're into that or not. Oh, also this is the Glitch Soba Choco Cup, which is also really fun. Uh, I, I like to use kind of pour latte to this. You know, this is like a really cute little Cortado cup that is very enjoyable to pour milky drinks in. It's also okay for espresso, but I would much rather pick something um, like, like this, even this over this for uh, espresso, especially for like or, and even pour over to like enjoy uh, aromatics out of. But yeah, this is just kind of like what I've found myself doing. Like I tend to lean toward, I tend, you know, what, what do my hands reach for when I am actually like trying to, you know, I'm pour, I'm done brewing something or I'm gonna pull espresso, what do I pull espresso into? What do I pour my brewed coffee into? The, this is just kind of like the behavior that I have found myself doing. And I thought that this was just like really interesting. It's like, wow, my mind is playing tricks on me uh, and is fun. Like that to me, like the fact of like literally these cups and the materials they're made out of has like really drastically changed my perception of coffee is fun. And I'm super curious about what you guys do. Uh, what kind of cups are you guys using? Because I think that's also like really interesting. Like people are crazy, even crazier than me about cups. Um, but yeah, if you did want to try these cups, uh, this one is will be linked in the description. This will be an Amazon affiliate link. Support your, your support me if you want. Uh, this one is always out of stock nowadays, and then these kind of come and go. I think they're they're all quite popular, but I actually would highly recommend this just because it's so cheap uh, in comparison to, to all of these. But yeah, thanks for spending the time to watch this video. I'll see you guys around.